Today, since we're preparing for another FOMC event, this is a great time to make sure that everyone understands how do you analyze a market, how do you make clear decisions about how would you enter a trade at any major news event. And since we've been able to do very well with many major news events for a long time, I'm gonna show you again right now how do you go through that process. So let's get started with that now. So as I show you how to trade this particular FOMC event, the other thing I'm going to show you is how to trade in general. So notice that in none of these videos do I hold anything back. The only problem would be in the minds of the people who are seeing it. If you're able to see that this is true and if you're able to apply this and be able to trade as a result of it. When the daily time frame goes into a correction, you realize that the waves of that correction can consist of huge impulsive trends on all shorter time frames. So it's very important to be able to see if something is a trend or a correction and on what time frame is it a trend or a correction. And this also helps you to make gauges or estimations for how long something will be moving in a certain direction and what will be the criteria for the next turn. If you're able to do this every day, as many of us are, you can prepare yourself for a high probability for every trade that happens. So when we look at what's happening with the dollar today, we know that the dollar has been in a huge downtrend. And as I go to the monthly time frame, I've been looking at the patterns on the monthly time frame for, well, forever. But for this particular pattern, I've been saying that if you can see this pattern on the DXY, for instance, the dollar index, that is a correction in a downtrend. That's what that is, if you can see patterns. And it has ended a correction. It looks like it's going down long term. And I've been seeing that for a long time. And for a long time, I've been saying this day after day and week after week. Because of that, you can see that this wouldn't be finished going up until it had made a complete correction that would be the right size and proportion relative to that trend that it just ended. And right, so that would always be the case for all trends. And once you know that, you can see what's true about markets. Now, when I look at the DXY, you can see what may be ABC, ABC, ABC in a series of three-way patterns. And we know that when you have a series of three-way patterns, it's because the market or could be forming a correction or a triangle that's consisting of three-way patterns. There's no trend there. But if this is also included, this most recent move up, ABC of A, ABC of B, A, B, C, of C, that means we're probably going to get D and E before this is finished correcting and ready to go back down again. That would be the normal thing to expect. But now that it finished these clear three waves up, it has made another three wave pattern down, a turning point, and what appears to be kind of an extended three wave pattern going up. So coming to FOMC, we want to see how do you approach these events and how do you align your trading decision with something that would be highly probable? Now, before a major news event, the thing that you're doing is you're analyzing the market to see what has been the prevailing sentiment. How do you see sentiment? Sentiment is shown and illustrated clearly based on the direction of the market. Sometimes traders say things like this, this is distribution or this is supply and this movement is because of federal policy or something like that. Instead of making it simpler by seeing clearly on the chart, is it going this way or this way? And then what is the direction of the market and what is the nature of the price action as it's moving that direction? Is it moving in a corrective manner or is it moving in an impulsive manner? Many times before a major news event, 
the market will prepare itself by forming a correction right up until the exact timing of the news event where you can go to the news event, you can trade this news event and know here's what's going to happen because there's a trend, there's a correction, this is going to end the correction, it's going to go that way. And that's how I have been able to get such amazing results for many years by doing this. But the truth is, many times you can look at the market and you can see that, well, honestly, this could form a recognizable pattern if it went that way and if it went that way. It's just a matter of how would I interpret the pattern. If it's very clear, you could say, I know what's going to happen. This is going to end this trend or this is going to end this correction on this time frame, and I can see that coming. But many times the market itself is uncertain and it will tend to put itself into a position where it could go either way. And if you look at all the information you have, I've shown before that one way to solve this problem is by making sure that you're actually searching for clarity, you know what clarity is, and you're comparing correlated pairs, and you know how to do that. I've made some other videos about that. After doing that, if it's still unclear, you have some other things you can resort to, and that would be go to the event and observe the behavior. If you have the experience of recognizing known behavior as it applies to patterns, then you can see here's what's happening. Now the market is going up, but it's going up at the end of a trend because it's going to reverse, it's going to make a spike reversal phenomenon, which is something that we have covered many times before and successfully treated. Or it could be forming a correction and then the correction tends to keep going, and then you would think, okay, that's gonna form a spike reversal end of a correction. But if there's some other pattern that leaves some uncertainty, all you have to do in the cases where it's clear what's going to happen, you will see, I'll just get in before the news comes out because I'm that confident. I would know the probability of this happening is extremely high. I'm just going to get in. And if it's not extremely high and if there's still any uncertainty, you can observe the behavior and see what does this behavior look like? Have you ever noticed when there's a news event and then there's a big move and then there's a pullback and what, what is the nature of the pullback and how can you distinguish the difference between a pullback and a reversal? Some of these things you can develop a little bit more experience and skill at recognizing right at the time that it's happening. And then just keep in mind, you don't have to trade these things. And not trading is an important part of how you get good results in trading. Only trade things where you know that the probability is high. You think that because there's a news event, you have to trade something? You don't have to. So you take all of these skills that you have together. You can read patterns. You know what patterns are. You can see trends. You can see corrections. You can read it all, all time frames. You can compare correlated pairs. You can look at the news if that, if that helps, but you can take all the information that you have and then if it's obvious, just make a decision and go with it. If it's not obvious, don't make a decision and wait. And then you can observe the behavior and that might give you that additional insight that you would need to actually trade the market when there's some uncertainty. You can say, okay, I was a little bit uncertain what's gonna happen, but now I can see what's going to happen. So then you get, get in and that's after the news comes out. If you can see those things happening, well, most people don't even attempt to get in before the news. But when you see that we can do both of those things, depending on what's available to us. So with regard to the dollar index and the DXY, there is a very distinct pattern that has formed on this pair and it has been going down for a long time and if you go through the monthly time frame there is an amazing big pattern that i have been saying this whole thing is an a b one two three four five of c it is going down longer term that's what it looks like to me but once you get to the daily to get a little more practical you can see that this is a long one downtrend and it has ended a trend recently. 
and you look at the dollar index and you look at the DXY, you can see there's one place here where this says ended a trend. But what's important is that it's now making a series of three wave patterns. That brings us up to today. So to make a long story short, I would think that this is going up and the next major thing it would do would be go down for a C because it's a whole series of A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B. Now, of course, the B could extend. It's not absolutely clear, but if it became clear, I would enter it. If it's not certain, I could just wait and see what happens. There's 12 more hours for it to form the rest of this pattern, and that's going to depend on what it is likely to do at that time. Is it going to extend this B until it's obvious it's going to end the B, or is it going to end the B now and start something else where then it would tell you something else would happen. Maybe it's going to end the C. I don't think it's really possible for all that to happen before the event, but you just check and see what does it look like at that time. Then you observe the behavior, use all of your skill, use, use all of your knowledge and just make the best decision that you can. And you do that the best that you can over and over and see if your probability is becoming higher and higher. I think that you will find that once you can read the market, your probability is going to get extremely high. So high that you might think that every time I trade an easy event, I have about 80 to 90% chance of winning based on what I've done in the past at every news event. And that's going to give you the kind of certainty and confidence that you would like to have in trading. There's so much more that I could show you about how to trade. And if you're interested in that, just join us in our live sessions. Now, when it comes to trading, it's very important that trading live on live data is the most important thing that will help you to actually develop a skill. Nothing that's caused by theory, something that is an actual practice, like practicing football, practicing Kung Fu, you can do that live. And when you're doing it live, you know that you're gaining a real skill in trade. I've made a whole series of other videos about that, and you can watch those right over here.